This is going to be bad, guys. This is going to be bad on a number of fronts. Let me just go through it. I mean, the Fed has been telling us for a number of months and warning us, of course, that these rate increases were coming. We knew that. Pulling back on the amount of crap that they've been buying from Wall Street, that was also going to come. And maybe what we didn't anticipate, though, was what Wall Street is now going through, this sort of catharsis, realizing that it can't continue to prop up and buy all of these speculative, crappy assets, right? They're going to have to go somewhere else. Well, that hits the little guy. That hits your 401k. That hits your portfolio. Because as we enter some sort of a recessionary period, that's going to affect you the most, and it's not going to affect Wall Street really at all. But there's also something else that's going to affect, which is our national security. And there's already things happening across the world stage geopolitically, which are leading to a lot of major problems inside the United States. Specifically, I want to talk about renewables, renewable energy that move towards a carbon neutral future or a carbon free electricity sourcing or a reliance on uh, foreign oils, all of those things, it's going to slow this down tremendously. If you've been watching my show for any length of time, you know that I'm really bullish on certain sectors here in the green renewable space, but I'm specifically bullish on nuclear energy. And one of the reasons I'm specifically bullish on it, I know it's not maybe necessarily in vogue to talk about it, but the proof is in the pudding that nuclear energy has become incredibly safe. In fact, Jack Dorsey just this week in an interview talking about we need to ramp up our amount of nuclear processing because it is so safe. Listen to Jack. You just imagine, and, and you mentioned nuclear Elon as well, and just imagine all the unused energy that is just being wasted every single day. I'm also uh, pro, pro nuclear. Uh, I think modern nuclear power plants are safe, uh, contrary to what people may think. And did you notice Elon Musk in that interview also shaking his head in agreement? Tesla guy, Elon Musk on, yes, green energy, shaking his head on nuclear energy. But one of the main things that we need in order to be able to produce nuclear energy, of course, is uranium. And did you know that we source 40% of the world's uranium comes out of Kazakhstan. If you've been listening to the news, you know that Kazakhstan is on fire, that there's been uprisings and unrest all across the country. And as a result of what's happening in Kazakhstan, we saw an 8% surge in uranium prices in one day. In one day. This goes to show you the volatility in the geopolitical stage right now around Russia, around Kazakhstan, and our move to try to get towards a carbon, you know, a zero carbon future. The countries that have these pledges, by the way, about trying to get to carbon zero by 2050, that is way, way, way too late and way too slow, according to the experts. And so we need to ramp up our move towards nuclear energy. And one way to do that is with additional uranium production. And right now, there is a growing awareness that we just do not have enough of it in the United States. If we're going to do this ourselves, we need to source it locally. So as you know, I'm always looking for amazing investment opportunities. And right now, one company I believe is perfectly positioned inside the United States that can help on a national security level, but to be able to provide to us a supply of uranium right inside the United States. It's not in Kazakhstan, it's not in Russia, and it's a company that not very many people are talking about, but they have enormous upside and be able to reduce this volatility in the United States. Let's take a closer look. The company is Anfield Energy. And I want to pull up their stock ticker on the screen. Their, their stock ticker is ANLDF. That is an OTC, ANLDF. And then in, in Canada, it is AEC. So that is the stock ticker. The company is a US-based development and production story. So they are near production. They're not exploring. I mean, they're not out there trying to find it right now, but they are ready to produce it in the United States. They have an impressive portfolio and they're sitting right next to Uranium One's Willow Creek project, their flagship project from Anfield. It has about 4 million pounds of resources that is readily available and to produce. And I don't know if you know what's going on in Japan, but Japan has said they are ramping up their nuclear uh, production and they need to source uranium. And there is a discussion right now in the United States to try to provide Japan with that uranium sourcing. So not only in the US, but the demand from the rest of the world to get uranium from us instead of regions that are on fire, like in Kazakhstan. So let me just go through Anfield Energy here a little bit, and I want you to do your own due diligence on this. But again, a really smart play, in my opinion, to be putting some of our money right now, because not only the demand in the renewable space, but also the incredible demand for uranium as we move towards this green future. So right now, Anfield Energy, with that Willow Creek project that I'm talking about, already has an agreement 
with Uranium One, which is the mine next door to their land, to their project. They already have an agreement to produce over a half a million pounds per year at their existing facility, using their existing facility to produce uranium. They already have that in plan. That's already contracted. Again, this isn't like an exploration project. It already is happening. And if you've been watching my show for any length of time, folks, you know how bullish I am on commodities, precious metals, these minerals that are not being built anymore. They're not being made anymore. And there's incredible demand for it. What makes this one so special, this company specifically, is they have three licensed, permitted, and construction, uh, constructed conventional uranium mills right now. The reason having existing milling is so important is because, as the CEO, Corey Diaz, says, if you have an existing mill, it's a major advantage because that's why competitors without mills have to go through an incredible regulatory and licensing process that can take years and all of that processing time just gets eaten up with regulation, you know? And that's why Anfield is already ahead of the game with their production mills already in place and producing as this demand is going to increase for uranium. Again, when you have Elon Musk, you have Jack Dorsey coming out and saying something that might not be, you know, we've been drilled into our heads for so many years that nuclear is unsafe, unsafe. Well, now we know it's not. That's not the case. It is safe. And so the demand for uranium is now off the charts. Again, do your due diligence on this one. Again, the link is below. It's an OTC stock, so you need to trade it on E-Trade or one of the larger brokerages in the United States. Check them out. Again, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know how bullish I am on uranium and the uranium sector. And we're seeing prices in the uranium sector and stocks skyrocketing as a result of this demand right now. And what I love about this company is that it has two paths here to really production and cash flow. Number one, of course, the amount of stores that they've already identified through their exploration and ready to mine. That's one section. Also the technology that they use, which means they don't have to rely on drilling. They have a leaching process, which actually pulls the uranium out without drilling. And so the licensing, the availability of this technology for them to be able to utilize, it's sought after on the world stage. That's why Japan is looking right now to partner and to have us provide them with uranium for their nuclear facilities. So the upside here, in my opinion, with what's going on in Kazakhstan, the incredible push for renewables and renewable energy sources by the world community, the lack of uranium, the rarity of it, the scarcity of it, and this company's prime position in order to take advantage of these minerals. So do your own due diligence. I'll have a link in the description below. I personally trade them on one of the larger brokerages. I think you need to use like E-Trade or, or uh, Fidelity or one of the larger brokerages uh, in order to trade uh, some of the OTC plays. So again, the stock ticker, let's put it up here on the screen, is ANLDF. And I'm going to be keeping my eye on these different stocks right now in these sectors that I believe are going to be protected from these headwinds that we're feeling from the Federal Reserve and these geopolitical forces in Russia, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan as well. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.